Oh, I lost a contact. Oh well. That's actually awesome. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Well, thankfully I lost the contact out of my good eye, not my bad eye, or I would not be able to read my notes for this next video. But the good thing is I can. The next two contestants are both girls. Christine Brett. Love her. Absolutely love her. She's my favorite so far for this season. She is very religious. But she doesn't seem to be that in-your-face Jesus freak, Bible-thumping type religious person. When I first saw her video, I was at work. I was in the back room at work. And I got the email because it comes to my work email from, I think it was Big Brother Spoilers.com. I don't, I don't remember who what, but somebody emailed me. And they revealed the cast as soon as it happened, because like I said, I was at work, and it was midday, and I wasn't able to, you know, view it online immediately. But when I went into the email, Christine was the first cast member that I saw. I'm going to admit, the very first thing I saw, when I just saw that little thumbnail picture of her, I was like, Is that a man? Now, I'm not implying that she looks masculine or manly. She reminded me of somebody. And it turns out she actually reminds me of Ian, a little bit of Jordan, and Matt. Like, all rolled into one. That tattoo sleeve she has is incredible. Like, I wish we could do a whole video about that sleeve. When I was watching like, the interviews that they have done, like, Big Brother Access, Big, Big Brother Dish, Big Brother Network, We Love Big Brother, um, reality recaps with Rachel Riley. I really wanted someone to ask her what the tattoos meant. Now, I know that We Love Big Brother did do this, because I tweeted about this, and they told me about it, and I finally went in and saw their video, and they did ask her about it. And she did tell us about some of her tattoos. I think mainly she just told us about one that was on her foot or something. And she gave us a little bit of the religious background and the, the spiritual meaning of those tattoos. But I want to know more. I want to know what the sleeve means. Like what everything is about that sleeve. Because when you go and tattoo your body, it has to mean something to you. And have significance to you. There's a story of your life in those tattoos. I want to know that story. Because I'm that interested in Christine. I really want to know more about her. So those are the types of questions I wish that people would ask her. But we didn't find out much about what those tattoos mean. My neighbors are being really loud. I swear, these people are loud all the freaking time. They seven to three or four freaking o'clock in the morning, yelling and screaming and blah, 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 blah. One's an alcoholic. They're only here until like July 4th and they're leaving, hopefully going back to New York. And I hope they leave really quick because I can't stand. You can probably hear them. Anyway. Christine. I have said that I want to get a tattoo very soon on my upper arm of Grumpy Cat. I like Grumpy Cat, so I'm going to get a Grumpy Cat tattoo. But Christine seems to be the most interesting person on the show, and I think she's very open-minded, like I said, so she's going to have a very solid alliance. I hope she goes far. I hope she wins the whole thing. Now to talk about Nicole Franzel. Nicole Franzel. Hmm? That's my opinion of Nicole. 
I know a lot of people, you know, fans were reading about her and they actually like her. They say she's the most fun of the group, that she's the most well-rounded, and that they really are going to be huge fans of her throughout the season. The only thing I can think about that is probably the reason why people have that feeling about Nicole is because she's the most relatable to each of us. She's like me, she's like you. Why is she like us? Because when she does the interview, she just sits there. She just speaks what's on her mind. She says she's bubbly and she's ecstatic and people like her. But she doesn't show that in her interview. She's just like, I'm a very outgoing, happy person. Yeah, everyone really likes me. She's only doing what they tell her to say. But she's not showing that personality. She's very much like each of us. She's a super fan. But she doesn't get the point across. She's just giving us straight verbatim what her personality is. She's just telling it. She's not showing it. Candace was like this last year. I said that in her interview she seemed very nervous, kind of soft-spoken. And her personality didn't come across. Now when she was on the show, I really liked her. So I'm hoping that will be the case with Nicole. Just like all of you, I hope that she's really, really awesome. I hope I can get behind her. But if she showed this type of personality, I think she did a video. She either went to a vi an open casting call or a video. I don't think she was recruited. But if she had the same personality on her audition video or in her casting call that she showed on those interview couches, then it is proof positive that anyone can get on the show. Robin Caps will cast you at some point in time if you're just more persistent than, you know, expected. I think this was her first time, though, applying, though. If I remember from her interviews, this was her first time applying. Most of the people that have applied or went to a casting call on this season, all of them, I believe, said that this was their first time applying. They're not repeat applicants like some of us. But this was like the first time of her applying, and she was able to get on the show. So, I mean, if she showed that dry, paint-drying excitement that she showed in the interview chair, then any of us can get on if we just give it a little bit of time. Robin Cass will eventually get around to us, and what the hell just happened? The light moved. The lamp but there are some other girls, you know, that we can talk about. Joey. I like Joey Van Pelt, the one with the blue hair. She doesn't live long in relationships. She's not, she's not very stable when it comes to relationships. She moves from man to man to man, she says. She's very liberal. Very smart. Like, you listen to her video, and she is super smart. And she's very up with current events. She hates conservatives and small-minded people. And she's the most likely of all the house guests who start a recycling program in the house. Because she's a tree-hugging hippie, basically, is what it boils down to. So, I can definitely see her lining up with Frankie. I don't think she's going to get along well with Caleb. Unless he schmoozes her and deceives her. I just don't see her getting along with him. Jocasta Odom. She's a minister in Odom, in Jocasta, was that her last name, Odom, or was she from Odom, Georgia? I just remember Jocasta. She is a minister from Georgia, and man, she talks a lot. She talks a lot. She is the anti-Nicole, because she wouldn't shut up. And she looks very fashionable. I kind of like her, even though she is very, very religious, and she will tell you how much she likes Jesus. She looked familiar to me. And at first I thought she might be related to somebody I work with. A girl that I work with at Swarovski named Roberta. I thought for sure that they were related. Because she reminds me a lot of the mannerisms, the way she talks, the way she talks about reading people. I thought 
that she was related to Roberto, but she wasn't, it turns out. The thing about Jocasta that really threw me off, she's very stylish, like she looked very nice, that, that outfit she had on was very bright, it popped, it really caught your eye, it really caught your eye in that interview. She just, she didn't blend in with the furniture or the walls of that room, she really stood out. But she wore a bow tie, and it was an odd color choice for that pink ensemble that she had, that bright bright shirt she had. It was an off. I guess it kind of went with her outfit, but it just threw everything off. It was really ugly. I didn't like it. And <laughs> I hope this isn't a preview of the outfit she's going to bring into the house because she's going to look goofy. She's going to look goofy as fuck. But I mean, overall, I think I'm probably going to like her, despite the fact she, you know, is very religious. But I think she's like an open-minded religious, kind of like Christine, because Christine said she's religious. I think they're both going to be from the, cut from the same cloth, and they both would be open to a women's alliance. So, I mean, if there is a battle of the sexist season, this is great news for the women because they all are on board with this women alliance, where the guys are probably just like, I might schmooze a woman and get her into a showmance and we'll align that way. Um, yeah. But, yeah, those are the girls of Big Brother. I still have to do Amber and Paola. Really don't know much about those two. Paola, she's Filipino. I did, Filipina, I should say. I did find that out. And she's a DJ. She seems quirky and fun, and I think I'm gonna like her. Very opinionated, she said. Hmm. But Amber, Amber was a recruit. She was a model. And it is clear that they got her specifically for the fact that they want to have a showmance on the show. She's not going to be like Wamber, I don't believe. She did say, she was one of the ones that said that she was going to be, a fear of hers was being emotional. She's a tomboy, though, which is surprising given her look. She's very feminine looking, but she said she's a tomboy. So that's going to be interesting. The women are at a disadvantage, because if it is a battle of the sexist season, and the men are all strong and muscular and athletes, so they're going to need, like, women like Amber, who's a tomboy, to really stand out in these competitions. I don't see Jocasta being very, you know, good at the endurance. She says she would like the endurance of challenges, but I just don't see her lasting that long. Christine, more of a mental competitor, I believe. Nicole would definitely be more of a mental competitor. Joey, I, I don't know. I don't really know how to gauge Joey in the competitions. But, I mean, she's a little bit bigger than the other girls, so maybe she's more athletic. So that might help her. But yeah, Paola and Amber really didn't stand out to me. A lot of other people said they really did like these two. Paola, I think I will end up liking her. Amber's pretty, but... Pretty only gets you so far. So I'm not sure if I'm on board with the Team Amber train. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see.